friends I have cucumbers and hold on and more cucumbers. And hold on, almost forgot about these. And these too. And you may be wondering, what in the world are you gonna do with all of those cucumbers, Mike? Well, I don't know. Just kidding. I do know, for the most part, the crazy thing is, this isn't all of what we had. We actually had more than this. After we've given, distributed some to our CSA customers, we've sold some to another CSA, we have given some away to family, to friends, and that church. So we still have more. And it, it is really a blessing to, to have a big harvest. However, with a harvest does come more work of figuring out what to do with the harvest once you have a lot coming in. That's a lot of work to to work the garden, figure out how to make things grow, and then, and then you have a problem, a good problem, of figuring out what to do with all of your produce. So that's what we're gonna do today, is we're gonna figure out what we can do with all of these different cucumbers that we have here. Another thing that we do with our excess produce is we feed it to our animals, especially like our reject ones. So the cucumbers like these, sometimes we'll also save seeds, but we're not gonna save these right now. We're going to feed these. We feed these to our chickens, our goats, our ducks, and sometimes our dogs like to eat them, but that's where, that's where these will go. But then we have some better cucumbers that we really want to make sure that we take advantage of. So there's going to be a number of ways that we preserve them today. And one of the things I do want to mention is when you're, you're trying to keep your produce good in the refrigerator for at least some extended amount of time, I really like using these totes right here. They work for a lot of different types of produce, whether it be salad greens, root crops, and even cucumbers, because we have these that were closer to the top of the refrigerator and they start going softer faster. But these here in the tote just seem to maintain their firmness for a lot longer period of time. All right. Alrighty, so we're gonna try four different ways of preserving my cucumbers today. I actually have a fifth one in mind, but we'll mention that later and we'll try that in another video. But today, we're gonna be juicing our cucumbers. And juicing your cucumbers is actually a really good way to make a rehydration drink. It's really good for getting you some good potassium. It's really good for you, so it's something you can try. But to preserve it, you can freeze it and you can freeze it in ice cubes and maybe even save it for things like a margarita drink or something like that. So that's one way. The other ways are, I guess the old faithful of making pickles. We're gonna do that today. As well as we're gonna make some cucumber relish and we're gonna dehydrate some cucumbers to make some chips. So I got the rest of the team here today. We're gonna split off into teams and uh, who's gonna help me out with making some cucumber juice? Sayla's already raising her hand. You gonna help me out like his too? So Lacey, you and uh, Josiah. We're gonna go cut up some cucumbers for some fermented relish and some chips to go to the in dehydrator. That sounds really good. Well, let's get started. You need me to carry those cucumbers over there for you, Please. or you got them? They are cut the uh, weight. You wanna lift some weights and get some muscles on you? Oh, you picked the smaller one. That was the easy one. 
This one's a little heavier right here. And this one is just really heavy. You probably saw me when I was moving it over. It probably had some veins popping out because this one is really, really heavy. But uh, we're not taking that one inside. Remember, I said this one's for, these are for the animal. So the cucumbers we're doing right here are dragon egg cucumbers. And these are actually ones that Taylor grew herself in our greenhouse. So I actually haven't juiced these before, so hopefully we like it. Think you'll like it? I hope so. I hope so. Have you even had a cucumber juice before? Once or twice. Uh, I've juiced so many different things in my life. I've done so many different diets, and one of them was a juice diet for an extended period of time. I've juiced all kind of crazy stuff, even juiced radish leaves before, which I don't recommend, by the way. Yep, go ahead and put them in there. So what we're doing is we're filling up our measuring cup here, and then taking that after it's filled up and putting it in our big jar right there. You can see the pulp that we're collecting right here. We'll feed that to the compost or the chickens, not sure yet. And then the juice coming out right here. It's starting to slow down now, so it looks like it's time to clean it out again. So usually after you make a juice, which can usually be a cup or two, you want to clean out your juicer. We've made several cups now, so it's definitely time to clean it out. So you'll get what the, the pulp and seeds will kind of clog it up in there, which is probably what's happening there. So Sailor, if you could, uh, whoops, get that out of there. Come on. Yep, right there you can see, got clogged up right there. So Sailor, if you could rinse that out for us. Yes, sir. And I must say, this is our first time making juices outside and making a juice can uh is not the, the neatest thing to do in the world not the cleanest job but uh sometimes cooking in general isn't the cleanest thing to do but uh it is a lot easier to deal with the mess out here than inside next year we're gonna have a whole bunch of cucumber plants over here you want to see why because since i've been washing this out all these seeds over here Alrighty, we finally have our cucumber juice ready right here. So this right here we might drink over the next day or two as a rehydration drink. Or we can just pour it into some ice cube trays and have them for some cucumbery drinks later on. But uh, this is their first time trying cucumber juice. So we're getting ready to try it. Each of us has our own cup here to try cucumber juice. You guys ready to try this out? I'm ready to try right, it. Let's go, let's, let's give it a shot. You don't like that one. What about you, say? It's interesting. It's interesting? Yeah, it's okay. Not a bad drink. Definitely could do it if I'm really thirsty. And I've done it before. But we've also juiced some beets and apples to mix in there to see if that flavor will help. So we're going to pour that in there. We'll pour that in there for you. Just to add a little bit of different flavor in there. We'll give you some too. And uh, I'll give you a little bit too. A little bit? <laughs> All right, see if you like it now with a different flavor in there. No, you still don't like it? Right here. It's better. Yes, I like it. Yum, 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 yum. Did you change your mind? <laughs> Not zero what you'd like. 
Well, anyways, with cucumber juice, you can also mix in lemon juice with it or mint and give it other types of flavor as well. Or if you just you just like the cucumber flavor and you just need a hydration drink, you can just go with a cucumber juice. Well, Micah, see if you like this one. It's just beets and apple. Any better? Yum, dum, dum, dum. So I guess he just doesn't like the cucumber flavor. <laughs> He likes All cucumbers right. any other time, though. Yeah, or you could just eat them. <laughs> All right, well, let's finish up here. All right, so we tried juicing the dragon egg cucumbers there. Next, we're going to try a Market More cucumber and our favorite, China Jade cucumber. And I don't know about you, Sayla, but I think the China Jade are the most delicious cucumbers that I have had. And they grow really well, as you can see right here. <laughs> and they don't get bitter real fast. And they don't get bitter. They, they, I think overall they just have like a sweeter, more pleasant taste. So let's try juicing each of these and see which ones we like better. Apparently Micah does not like dragon egg juice, cucumber juice. You said it was okay. I'd say it's not bad. So I'm kind of right there with the okay. It's not like a... But it's not like, mmm, give me a whole bucket full of that. <laughs> Definitely way less seeds. And that's one of the things that I didn't mention about the dragon egg cucumbers is let them go a little bit longer so they did have more seeds in them, which doesn't change the flavor a ton, um, especially when you're just eating them regularly. But it was causing the juicer to get clogged up uh, and we had to clean it out more than I would like to have. So. All right, so let's try a sip. Sayla. I'll let you do honors of trying to sip, see if you like that any better. Yes. Is better? better yes. Think it's better? You up for trying it or are you just done with cucumbers? I don't like it. Let's see if you like it. Yum dum dum dum. You like that one better? Alright, let me see if I like this one better. It's different. It's not as heavy. It's like lighter too. So, ah. definitely a different flavor. Definitely. So China Jade cucumber for the win again. <laughs> so uh, you gonna drink the rest of that, or you gonna be chugging down? You got it. Next, we're gonna try the market more. Oh, yeah. 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 Two, one. Alrighty. You gonna try this one first, Micah? Alright, see if you like that one. I want Sailor to do it. You want Sailor to try it first, ladies first? Mm hmm. I like this one even better. Really? Yeah, it's sweeter. Alright, you gonna try it, Micah? Let's see. Yum, dum, dum, dum. Alright. All right, I can't promise I'll have the yum the dum dum thing going on, but we'll try to. <laughs> that one tastes more like uh, cucumber water. But it's sweeter. I don't think so. I think Maybe it is to you. I like the China Jade still better, but you like the Market more better for this flavor. I, I think it just tastes like a cucumber water. It's not bad. Still maybe better than the dragon egg. But, Almost um, anything better than a dragon egg. So we're divided. I go China Jade all around. Cucumber I really like. You like the market more uh -huh. for the juice, but which one do you like to eat better? I don't know. Oh. It's kind of a tie. Kind of a tie? Yeah, the market more is a really good one. So which one do you like better, Micah? The China Jade or the market more? You definitely didn't like the dragon egg, did you? I didn't like a dragon egg. No, what about the China Jade? This one? You like this one? China Jade. You like the China Jade better? I do too. Yeah. So. <laughs> you like Lambord. <laughs> so China Jade for the win. But that's just here guys. You try your own experiment and see which one you like better. 
Next, we need to get rid of some of these cucumbers to the animals. We'll give them to the goats and chickens and ducks. And Sailor wishes that we could give some to the horses too, if we had horses, but we don't. Then after that, we'll go touch base with Josiah and Lacey back inside, see how their progress is coming along with theirs. And then uh, we're gonna start working on some cucumber chips and things like that. Have you had cucumber chips before? No, you haven't? So I can't say that I have either, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're just going to be diligent and use our produce that we have here. Is that yummy? Don't want to? Yummy. It looks like you like it a lot. What about you? Did you use it? All right, so how are things going in here? What you working on? I'm putting our cucumber, onion, and pepper, it's gonna be a relish, into a jar so I can pour the brine on top so I can start fermenting it. Sounds good, so Josiah's been giving you a hand? Yeah, he did a great job. He peeled the cucumbers, cut them in half, scraped the seeds out, and I cut them up. And uh, he went and harvested me some peppers too. So, appreciate it. So we have juice, some cucumbers, now you are going to be, I guess, fermenting. fermenting these as a relish. Yep. Then I'm going to um, slice some up with my mandolin slicer to dehydrate. And then I'm going to make a fresh salsa for tonight for dinner. So that's another way of using them. And we're also going to ferment some as what? Some like pickle slices? Um, yeah, we can do that too. So let me go ahead and do those. Do that while you're working on this. And I'll just sit on the other side of the table and we'll just keep going with the cucumbers. Okay. All right, so now I'm done with slicing up the cucumbers on the mandolin slicer. And now Lacey's gonna be putting them here on our dehydrator and giving a little bit of love with some seasoning there. What you got there? I have Redmond's Real Salt with garlic in it. So it's garlic powder and uh, Redmond salt. And we're huge fans of Redmond salt. Really quality products, everything they have. So continuing to use their products once again. And if you're interested in using some of their products, you can get, check out the show notes below where we'll have a discount code for you to use if you wanna get some Redmond products. But um, can't wait to try some of these garlic cucumber chips, That's right? right? That's right. And for those of you who've never done anything like dehydrating stuff before, which there was a time where I hadn't done any of this stuff with the homesteading life because I didn't grow up as a homesteader. So it's pretty easy to run a dehydrator. You just kind of load it up and then uh, turn it on, right? Yeah, pretty much. The only thing is you want to make sure um, most of your stuff is cut in the same thickness so it dries at the same rate. So hopefully I did a good job with that. I think I did. What's your, what, what do you think? It's kind of hard to mess up a mandolin slicer, so they're all pretty uniform. I don't know, I can mess some stuff up. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> but looks like I didn't mess this one up. Good.
Mmm. I can smell the garlic smell. It smells great. Well, we just got a few more cucumbers left to ferment, and then we are done with our cucumber preservation project for today. Well, back inside to get preserving again. I'm just layer them in here to get as many in as I can. So I'll put some big ones down and then I'll put some little ones in there just to make sure all of those little spaces are taken up. I've already done one big jar right over here. So you can see how they're in there. I know some of you might wonder, like, why are you fermenting these? Well, one thing is cucumbers are great for pickles and fermenting is one of the easiest ways to make pickles. You can put them in the jar, put your fermenting lid on there and bam, two weeks you have pickles. Then you just take the fermenting lid off, put a regular lid on and put them in the fridge and they last a very long time. And our family loves them. And a health benefit to fermenting your food, especially your vegetables here, is it's going to provide you with probiotics that are really beneficial to your digestive health. So why not grow your own and produce your own and it's going to be much better for you than going to the store and buying probiotics that way. This is my brine. So whenever you ferment, you need to make a brine and it's a salty solution, normally from one tablespoon to three tablespoons of salt per, I think, quart. I normally do a little less than that. I think this is probably not quite a tablespoon because I don't need a whole quart of water. But you just take it and you pour it right in like that. And you cover them up. And you just shake it a little bit. Get some of those air bubbles out. I'm gonna need a weight for this. Okay, Micah, can you put the weight in for me? This way? Nope. This way. And hold the top. Hold the top right there. And you just push it down in. This one is probably a little full. Here, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Put our weight in there okay and make sure we still have some there's an air pocket right there so you want to make sure that brine is totally covering all of your food your ferment and then this jar is a little full but then you put your fermenting lid on yep just like that and you put this to the day that it is. And then that's when you know that uh, that's the day it was on. So you can count from there. And we normally do a ferment for two weeks. And then we break into them. And we did these a few weeks ago. And these have already been put in the fridge. But everybody loves these, don't you? Can you, can you eat one? And they're still crunchy too. That's one of my favorite things is they stay crunchy. And this is about one of the only ways that he will eat cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, cause you didn't like juice them that much earlier, did you? <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I really enjoy using these fermenting lids, even though you really don't need them. I just feel like it takes some of the guesswork out of it and it makes it where mold is not going to grow as readily on top of these. So it has a one way valve here. So whenever your vegetables start fermenting, the air comes out. 
so there's no oxygen in there and that's going to prevent a lot of stuff from growing and I really like these I'll put a link down in the description and in the comments on where you can pick these up and there's various brands and they're all about the same but um, I'll link some of those for you and also we'll leave a link for Redmond salt and we actually will be leaving a discount code there 15% off your order so real salt from Redmond salt so make sure you check it out well you've seen us juice cucumbers today you've seen us make relish you've seen us make pickles and uh, also dehydrate cucumbers to hopefully make some garlic cucumber chips and uh, Lacey and Sailor are getting ready to make some cucumber salsa for tonight fresh cucumber salsa but uh, next coming days we're gonna see if we can make some canned cucumber salsa too which we haven't done before so we'll just have to see how that goes well if you have any special ways that you preserve your cucumbers we'd like to hear about your ways too let us know in the comment section below see you next time